this has ended with no injuries at all, which is good. Jim Gardner and Bob Mills Sky News 9 over the scene of a police chase today in one of the busiest areas of the metro. Officers and troopers with guns drawn made an arrest right near Penn and Memorial. News 9 Sylvia Corkill joins us live at OCPD with all the details. Sylvia? Amanda Carl, police tell us that 31-year-old Lance Miller was driving a stolen pickup reported out of Texas when he refused to stop for officers. This is a stolen vehicle. Taking off in southwest OKC near 119th and I-44, police identify the driver as Lance Miller, saying he led officers and troopers on a steady chase. For the most part, he was going to speed limit. The police have kind of laid back. Air One is on this, so they've kind of laid back from really pursuing this vehicle. With the bird's eye view on the pickup, law enforcement on the ground kept their distance. Yeah, we definitely have to take precautions, especially this time of day with the amount of traffic. After multiple pit maneuvers and at least two spin outs, Miller was able to regain control of the pickup. Oh, well, Troopers finally putting an end to the 20 minute chase after forcing Miller's okay. truck into a final spin. Then when he started going into the Home Depot in these crowded areas, they had to bring this to an end before somebody got hurt. With his truck disabled and a beer in his hand, police say Miller ignored their orders, refusing to exit the vehicle. And now they're going to bring him out of the truck and take him into custody here. The person definitely did not want to come out of the truck. No citizens were injured. There were no uh, officers injured, and this ended uh, fairly safely. Now, Miller did go to the hospital to be checked out for some minor scrapes. He is expected to be booked into the Oklahoma County Detention Center. Live in Oklahoma City, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.